Happy Friday. WebCME wants you to start your weekend with a win. The Clinical Connection Friday feature is the effect of smoking on wound healing. I am quite confident that nearly every patient is asked these questions during their initial wound care consult. Do you smoke? And if the answer is yes, the follow-on is, how much do you smoke? These elements of the history are then added to the medical record. But then what? What are you doing with this important historical data? A recent research publication suggests that not only is smoking a significant factor in wound healing compromise, but as wound care specialists, we need to do a better job in urging our patients to stop smoking, along with assisting them in their attempts to quit. Jody McDaniel and Christine Browning, both assistant professors of nursing at The Ohio State University, published a study in the Journal of Wound, Ostomy, and Continence Nursing that eloquently addressed this issue. Although the exact mechanisms by which nicotine, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen cyanide, and the more than 4,000 additional toxins contained in cigarette smoke negatively impair wound healing are not entirely understood, the negative impact of smoking on cellular function and tissue hypoxia has been reported by numerous studies. Cigarette smoke has been associated with vasoconstriction and reduced cellular proliferation. Diminished numbers of erythrocytes lead to inadequate oxygen availability and tissue hypoxia. Depressed white blood cell production and activity diminishes phagocytosis and bactericidal activity prolonging inflammation. Fibroblasts are essential for collagen production. They are depressed and the proliferative stage of wound healing is inhibited. Additionally, cytokines are disrupted. And this impacts all phases of wound healing, but most importantly, angiogenesis is impaired. McDaniel suggests that wound care specialists need to do a better job on acting on a positive smoking history. She says, despite the evidence that cigarette smoking negatively impacts wound healing on multiple levels, it's just not something that is typically mentioned in a patient visit. We are all aware that quitting smoking is no easy feat. Many smokers try to quit each year, but only about one third are successful. Existing evidence suggests that smokers are likely to abstain when presented with assistance and repeated personalized messages urging them to quit smoking. McDaniel and Brownie propose using the five A's model for treating tobacco use and dependence. Ask, advise, assess, assist, and arrange. And they provide a table in their article that details the five A's models, and this can be used in a wound care clinic protocol. The article also provides an excellent suggestion. While evidence-based guidelines for both chronic wound care and smoking cessation exist, they aren't being implemented together. We think this could have a profound effect on clinical outcomes and ultimately on the patient's quality of life. Don't let a positive smoking history go up in smoke. Act on it. Use the five A's. Well, that's this week's win. We hope the clinical connection will enhance your wound care practice. Be sure to send us your questions and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Enjoy a safe and relaxing weekend.